Lieutenant Governor for New Brunswick. As we told you earlier in the week, both we Premier Sean Graham and Opposition Leader David Allward had been consulting with Prime Minister Stephen Harper on exactly <coughs> who that should be. And we've been doing a little consulting of our own with you online. Our Jacques Petra joins me now to talk more about that. Jacques, what are we hearing? Well, we asked people uh, both on our blog at cbc.ca slash nb and also on our Twitter feeds to suggest names that would be agreeable to both Sean Graham and David Allward. Uh, getting four votes each were uh, Graydon Nicholas, the Justice of the Provincial Court, uh, who is Aboriginal, and Derek Olin from Moosehead Breweries. And then um, getting three votes each were uh, Senator Noel Kinsella, uh, who's a Conservative, and Robert McLeod from Barbara Foods, uh, who's also a prominent Conservative. So um, those were the, the people who, who got the top votes, and then we had about two dozen others who got uh, one mention each from someone. Hmm. Now it's inevitable when we go out asking for suggestions like this that we get a few unconventional names. Who did we hear this time? Well, some of the surprising choices were, um, uh, you know, there were a lot of politicians, but some of the surprising choices were Charles LeBlanc, the blogger and activist, uh, Elsie Wayne, the former MP and former mayor of St. John, who actually had more people saying they didn't want her, um, and uh, another interesting choice, Wendy Nielsen, the singer from Cambridge Narrows, uh, which would mean no problem booking uh, performances at Vice Regal events. Now, who do we see as the real front runner, and when will we know exactly who does get chosen? Well, there has to be someone in place by September 30th when the current Lieutenant Governor's term expires, and Graydon Nicholas uh, seems to be a favorite. A lot of people say it's time for an Aboriginal person to be in this position. Okay, well, we'll stay tuned for that. Thanks, Chuck. Thanks, Jen.